чтобы вы были добрее людям. We'd like to add uh, for everyone to be more kind to people. Почему? Потому что все единоборства учат какой-то агрессивности. For the following reason, uh, many martial arts uh, teach aggression. And that they consider if your face is really tough, you're a good fighter. Or if you took some interest, interesting pose, you, you're mighty powerful. Здесь вот эти все ужасные лица и ужасные эти какие-то стойки, люди от страха делают. Um, страх. Those uh, tough faces and uh, weird stances are a result of fear. Обычно бывает так по психологии, кто больше всех боится, тот всегда и начинает всех пугать. Usually the person who is scared the most is the one who starts to scare everybody else. You would say, I'm ready, I'll rip you all apart. But in reality, uh, it's very easy to blow that off. I've never seen a professional, including the ones who were in the war, that would ever have uh, anger and uh, this facial expression of anger. Uh, he says, I, I love to look at people's faces and especially if they've just uh, undergone certain stress. They have no lie on their faces anymore. There's just sincerity, um, empathy, regret. And then you look at these clean faces and you see power. It may be a small, unnoticeable person, but he is carrying power. That is very interesting. So do not make tough, animalistic faces or special stances. We are people. We're not monkeys. And this uh, thinking in images, it uh, imprints on your conscious mind. Any animal is only different from a person because it is an animal. And an animal has no regret. There's no love that the person has. And if a person becomes an animal, nobody likes him. Everybody's afraid of him. So be good people. It's a good speech. <laughs> Дыхание, теперь дыхание. Ну вот, и теперь дыхание, и про страх как раз, и выдыхание. So now we're going to talk about breathing. Дыхание очень важное в жизни человека. Everybody knows the importance of breathing. If you don't breathe, you'll die. And this is what happens if you scare a person with any movement. The breathing stops. 
and there is a spasm in your blood vessels and that there's and there is less, less blood supply to the brain and to the heart and the heart and the brain is what is consuming most of the oxygen and when you practice breathing, holding your breath, then there's a lot less fear. And the body becomes trained to that reaction and feels a lot less fear. <laughs> Breathe now. <laughs> Есть дыхание, которое восстанавливает э, давление в организме человека. There is breathing that restores blood pressure. Есть дыхание, которое значит, без остановки или с задержкой дыхания. Оно тренирует вот именно сердце и мозг. Это очень важно. There is breathing where you hold your breath and that's what trains your brain and your heart. И за счет дыхания, за счет обогащения кислородом Proper breathing relaxes your mind and cleans your mind because there's less fear. So you gotta train your breathing like you do when you immerse yourself in the water. Many of you have di tried diving. So when you dive, you, a lot of people are afraid. What if you don't have enough oxygen to come up? And the, the way the instructor may tell you to act is to relax. And there will be enough air in your lungs left. And as soon as you understand that, you start to control your conscious mind. You, can, you start to see better, react better, to any movement. And uh, it's so much easier for you to move because you understand your own body and you, the needs of your body. Ну, о дыхании говорить можно много, и очень интересно, и мы на семинаре проходили, просто это отдельная как бы тема. We can talk for a long time about breathing, and we covered that in the seminar. Поэтому я думаю, что лучше всего это сделать даже отдельную тему. Maybe one day we'll make it into a separate topic. Да. Но мы должны помнить, что мы должны вдыхать через нос, выдыхать через рот. We've got to remember that when you train, you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. The way our nose is built, uh, we take cold air through one nostril and warm air through the other. If you find yourself in a cold setting, you may feel that one nostril is blocked up. It's like a barometer built in inside the nose. When you're in a cold setting and you start to breathe through your mouth, you can get a sore throat and uh, get over chilled. And being over chilled that gives uh, a spasm to the blood vessels, to the heart and the brain. 
So everything is interrelated. А все вот эти вещи, они опять дают э, страх. And all these things lead to fear. Ну, также, естественно, и если вы попадаете в теплое место или в горячее, опять, если вы будете дышать горло, будет, вы просто, ну, сгореть можно внутри. And it's the same thing if you find yourself in a very hot environment and you start breathing through the through your throat, you'll be overheated. So this is just a small part about breathing that you have to know. Breathing is tightly related to every aspect of our life. And you must train it. Что страх – это вдох, а выдох – расслабление. Ну да, и помните, что вот напугал, да, его, что он делает, человек? So, come back to this scare movement. He takes a breath in while he's scared. Now exhale. И страх уходит. And the fear is being exhaled as well. This is the, the way our conscious mind is. As soon as we get scared, we take a breath in and hold it. So by practicing proper breathing, you will know that you can always control the way your body works and the way your breathing works. То есть, чтобы сознательно выдыхать из страха. Ну, это простейшее. Простейшее. То есть, если вам страшно, вы выдыхаете. So the simplest example of that, if you're scared, exhale. Вот. И на этом же есть работа, значит, на дыхании и, естественно, на вдох сознания, потому что мы, работая на дыхании, воздействуем на сознание человека, помните, страх и все остальное. То есть это никакой здесь нету такой сверхъестественной силы, чтобы вы понимали. So there's no supernatural power behind this, because your partner reacts to your breathing unconsciously as well. So you can use that as a weapon to affect him. You could say that I'm a major magician and, and can fix your auras. It, it is possible to do, but it's not ours. There is something evil in that. Uh, breathing can clean the human body. The person can be healed and controlled by way of breathing. Uh, for example, if you come into contact with a person who has asthma and he starts his heavy breathing, every one of, uh, people, of the people present starts to unconsciously help him. Because the kindness that's being put into you it wishes to help another person. Is that clear? So when you're being attacked, mm -hmm. so you have to breathe or something? Um, the partner has to see your movement. And uh, he is making Sean inhale. And as he exhales, 
he follows along with him. And you kind of go along with him on a smaller trajectory or along with his movement. You need patience. You take, pick up his breath and redirect it. Потому что он знает, что на выдохе производятся все удары и действия, поэтому ты выдохом его. Ну да. Да, подсознательно. Она так, как бы учит, что лучше всего наносить удары на выдохе, да, помните? Uh, you know that you, people are taught to deliver the strikes at the exhale point. Человек знает подсознательно, особенно человек, который uh, занимался видами. And especially someone who has done many martial arts. Uh, knows that the strike would be done at the point of exhaling. And uh, remembering that, he reacts to it. And not to be uh, caught in this trap, you gotta train your breathing. But that won't come right away. Ну, объясни, можешь еще ну, что-то? Вот сейчас, как бы, я ему дал дыхание, а потом сделал задержку. Вот. So, Михаил gave Scott the breathing and then held it back. Да, и у него дыхание как бы кончилось. And then he ran out of breath. Ну, <laughs> <laughs> what makes you copy him? He catches me by surprise and... Как-то ну, ты ловишь ты его в момент, он чуть... Ну, так же, как и тело, помните, начинаешь с толчков, там, берешь его тело. Так же и дыхание, это же тоже принадлежит человеку. Just like uh, knowing the biomechanics of the body, you practice with it, and it belongs to you, and you work with it, and you start feeling it. See how interesting it is to breathe properly.
ты знаешь, как он дышит, чувствуешь его. He gave you a point of support, yeah, and then remove that point of support. Just like uh, you did on the pushes.
la formă. A very big emphasis is made on the form. Uh, что такое форма? What is the form? Значит, так как человек движется, как он ходит, как он живет, так он должен и работать. The way the person walks, the way he moves, and the way he lives, that's the way he should work in martial arts. То есть должна быть ровная длина. There should be a straight path. Правильное распределение центра тяжести. The even distribution of the center of gravity. Потому что сюда много что входит. Если человек нагнулся, да? Помните, мы говорили про дыхание? There are many components to this. If you bend over, у него естественно будет как бы закрываться дыхание. What happens to the breathing? It's closed up partially. Затруднено дыхание. Makes it more difficult. Опять же, затруднено дыхание. Помните, нагрузка на голову, на сердце, страх и все остальное. As soon as the breathing is made more difficult, there's added pressure and stress to the heart and the brain and more fear. Значит, по форме там много было на семинаре. Я думаю, что Володя сделает, Василий Володя сделает фильм об этом. There has been a lot covered about that in the seminar, and Vladimir will <laughs> show that in the video. И поэтому я как бы просто немножко коснусь этого. So we'll briefly touch upon that. Значит, и нужно двигаться в таком же положении. You should move in that same position. Должно быть расслабленное, свободное тело, которое может в любой момент поменять направление. The body should be relaxed and free and ready to change direction at any moment. Именно расслабленно. Relaxed is very important. Вы же в жизни не ходите в каких-то стойках. You don't walk around in life like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk the way you walk. And in the same natural way you start any job. То есть понятно, что такое форма. You understand form what is the form. Это то состояние, в котором вы живете. Form is the state that you live in. Все помните, когда вы в школе были, вас учили ровно сидеть. Почему? Remember when you were in school, you were taught to sit up straight. Чтобы не было искривления позвоночника, да? To keep the spine straight. Это естественно. Ну вот, пожалуй, я думаю, так вот кратко, если оформим, есть там что-то. Ну, безусловно, как бы. Любые стойки, любые э, движения, которые неестественные, они идут от страха. Вы помните, да, если есть агрессия, сразу там раз, Remember, люди встали и напряглись. Да, Нужно быть в спокойном ровном состоянии. Тогда ты не будешь давать агрессию никакую. И всегда сможешь реагировать правильно на все действия и движения другого человека. Это такое мое мнение, может я ошибаюсь. Пожалуйста, дай вам наше рождение. Вот. Ну, вот, примерно. А как это помогает в работе без касания? Очень помогает. Здесь можно как бы немножко коснуться передвижения. Когда идет агрессия на вас, да? Вы не стоите, просто сходите. When the pressure of the
So, so Mikhail will demonstrate psychological aspects of people reacting uh, to the stick. With no physical contact, you could achieve the same result. The stick is a continuation of your arm.
Включено мое, да? in pairs uh, regularly and uh, Mikhail wants to demonstrate that if you want to for example break up a fight but you don't want to get right into it you can stop it with very little contact so <coughs> and you cannot see what exactly happened
Как я могу стоять? А я только что объяснила. А не надо, я это буду. Just what you felt. Um, what I felt. Hard to describe, but uh, based on his explanation of the obvious movement, I gave him some respect after that, and then it was just a matter of following his, his movements. I had no choice after he had stopped me. The breathing was especially effective. Like, I, I felt myself stop breathing. I just, and then I always breathe. It's very unusual, very unusual. Excellent work. Thank you. Uh, it's excellent movement. Everything is fine. Well, <coughs> basically, uh, I came from uh, uh, Russian forces, special forces, but it's, uh, I'm telling you guys, it's something different because uh, uh, I'm a captain, captain special forces, and uh, it's something like airborne, but uh, I never see anything like that in my life. Nothing, nothing, nothing the same. But from now and on, I know for hundred percent, guys, that's, uh, it's excellent. It's, uh, it's, it's excellent. And uh, in my first day when I came here, nobody beat me so good in my life. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. But uh, it's great, guys. It's, it's excellent, and I'm so happy. And special thank you to you.
Mr. Priest. Uh, the thing that I like the most about uh, tonight's class is I felt it was the culmination of uh, everything I had been uh, shown before. And uh, sometimes it felt like I was trying to uh, grasp an object, but I always end up grasping air. And this would just throw me five, ten feet. So I would like to thank uh, Vladimir. I'd like to thank uh, Valerie. And of course, I'd like to thank Mikhail for inviting me to this portion. Thank you. Uh, thank, you, thank you very much, thank you for being here. Uh, the class today was very en enlightenful. I uh, learned today the, uh, the posture at the back, uh, the spine being straight, it helps a lot. And the, uh, the punches and the energy that comes with that, it gives, me, it gives me energy. I feel more alive, enjoying, not, not afraid, and that helps me a lot to see a lot of movement. Thank you very much. Uh, the system is very new for me. Uh, I've only been doing this for a very, very short time, but uh, already I, I see that there, um, it, it's hard to, to verbalize and articulate what's happening, but I can see how, um, <clears throat> how natural the movements are and how effective they are from practicing and, and learning from the teachers as well as with the students. So I, I think that there's so much here to learn that uh, I'm just starting to really kind of understand it a little bit, tiny, tiny bit. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to thank uh, Vladimir and Valerie for giving this opportunity to meet uh, Michael Repko. Uh, his work, uh, of course, is uh, incredible. And uh, from one point of view, when you look at it, it's one thing. But when you participate, it's completely another one. And uh, uh, he kind of will let you in the corner. And then you appreciate that he let you out. Because you understand there is uh, no way you can survive, except that uh, because, because he is a good nature guy and he lets you basically to breathe second breath. And the, you kind of appreciate this. Thank you very much. Vladimir, Valerie, Michael, I, uh, I feel like more alive like, than I think I've ever felt. I feel tired, but I feel alive at the same time. <laughs> it's not really weird. Um, I think Michael summed, summed it up really well when he said and he talked about uh, what this is all about. It's about being a good person, and the moment you are a good person, everything else can come to you. It's, that's not a problem. And that uh, how actually deadly this is, because it gets so deep inside you, it's not even about punches or kicks. And uh, thank you so much. I learned so much. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for coming. I mean, I learned so much. On the other side, like uh, for Slava, I was in the American Ranger Battalion, a long-range reconnaissance in the American forces, and I've never seen anything like this anywhere. Um, the, the, the depth of it is almost, it's, it's, it's almost bottomless. I learn more about myself with this martial art. I find myself that I never want to go home. I always want to be here. <laughs> it's, like, it's like my family. I just can't get enough. I want to keep getting more and more and more. Um, it, it, I almost wish I was born Russian so I could be on the other side over in Moscow all the time. You know, and it's just, this, this is like, it's a way of life. And I like this. I, this is what I want to do. And I'm, thank you very much for opening opportunity and, and for Vladimir also. It's been a an eye-opening experience to me I'll, I'll never forget. It's been an opportunity of a lifetime. Thank you. The question is uh, whether what, what you know now in the Russian system, would that help you in your work in, in the special forces there? If I were still in the military, I'm, now I work in a, in, a, in a civilian market, so it's kind of rough to use what I know now, but it, we would have some advantages. But in the American military, if I were still there, this would be of an, an incalculable, I mean, it's just priceless. We don't have this. Nothing even close to this. We have a very hard system, which is like, like force on force. This is, it's body movement. There's nothing at all like this anywhere in the American military, anywhere. So I mean, this, this is like, to give you an idea, I had my, my job move me here specifically just to be with Vladimir. It's the only place in North America I had him transfer me here just for this. And now that I'm here, I don't want to go home. <laughs> and then, you know, like I said, when I go to, to Moscow, I found the hardest part about Moscow in the last summer was having to say goodbye. And I look forward like, to next time to going back, and I'll bring my wife along next time so she can see just, just how great it really is. And I'm thankful that everything that I thought was so, about about Ru Russians and Moscow, I think it's all wrong. And then this is this is just this is the meat of life. This is fantastic. 
most important principle of the Russian system is the spiritual basis for it, and that is kind and caring attitude uh, towards everybody, towards the world, your partner, and, and everything you can think of. There should be complete absence of aggression. And um, that's why the Russian system is called the system, because it kind of includes everything, everything you can think of about life. And once you have the spiritual component, then it really makes you the master of yourself, which is the most important thing in life. Um, the two key principles that exist in life is love and hatred, and you should always go in the direction of love, of course. Mm. But both of these things are emotions, and you should be very calm about it. So don't rush into love uh, without the balance either. Emotions interfere with your work even overly uh, being overly in loved uh, and in love gets in the way of your work so just stay away from hatred altogether and keep the balance uh, in love aspect okay mm -hmm. okay so now we go to the key physical principles okay now once we have this foundation and the first one is the body form um, okay, and what that means is a certain position of your body and your limbs that allows you to keep balance in any position in defensive and offensive moves where the fighter's body is maximally relaxed and at the same time um, organized together and it's whole and filled up. And um, Mikhail is going to show you how to achieve that body form. Um, so physically, what it looks like is a straight spine and uh, the head straight up um, with the arms not thrown around to the sides and the legs slightly bent in the knees and small steps. What do you think? So he'll demonstrate what that body form looks like and then you'll work towards achieving it. So, so just do whatever you feel like. Slowly try strike, grab, whatever.
Ну, то есть, понятно, да? Что такое форма? So, is that clear to you what the form is? <laughs> okay, here's a little more explanation. Uh, this form means that the head, the body, and the limbs are all one unit. Um, and it's a comfortable state. It should be very comfortable. And um, this form continues in any position. And even when the body is off the ground, it's still that form. You could uh, strike and uh, throw the opponent and all kinds of things. But you have to calculate your movement. Значит, у Володи вот, который кассеты есть, да? Значит, там начало вот неплохое для начала вот эти хождения, значит, на длинных, на широких, допустим, стойках. Какой кассет? Ну я не помню. Упражнение? Да, ну прям он показывает, да. Yeah, in some of Vladimir's tapes, he's saying there's very good exercises for practicing um, long steps and different uh, levels of uh, being up or uh -huh. so he doesn't want to spend too much time on that because it's on stage, so, so uh, that what you see on Vladimir states that, that gives you the first level, and then the next one would be having the body filled up and uh, gathered up together. То есть есть такое работают ноги, руки, да, а здесь работают полностью тело, и руки, и ноги, и все тело вместе. Вот так как я передвигался. So the way Mikhail was moving, it's not his arms and his legs were moving; the whole body was moving as a whole. Ну вот. А следующий уже как бы ступень, да? Это когда вообще без касаний даже. And then the next step from that would be work with no contact. Once you master that the whole body, then you can go to the next step. А рассказать, что мысленно тоже вместе надо будет вот здесь как раз. Ну конечно. Да. And and the very good analogy that Mikhail was giving. Um, if, for example, um, you have to be all gathered up together in every aspect, even in your thoughts. Um, so you have to be whole and be here and, and now at all times. Then you can be effective. So, for example, it, you can't have thoughts about uh, whatever is happening at your work while you're, you're at the gym and so on, because that makes you off balance and uh, part of you is not here, just like you can't have one arm or one leg not working as a whole. Same way you can't have one thought that's not uh, here, and that would distract you a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And don't try to perceive uh, uh, the system as something separate from your life. It is your life. It is just part of it and it's just somebody trying to uh, maybe attack you and it's part of your life and uh, you're defending yourself and surviving. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Your movements have to be, first of all, providing you with defense. So when the opponent put the arm there, you, you put yours out, make him uncomfortable. 
So first, your moves have to provide you with defense.